So, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about Pythagorean triples. Um, let's see here. Okay, so do y'all remember the Pythagorean Theorem? Yeah? We should have done that before, not necessarily in this class, before this year, school year that is. Uh, but let's remind ourselves here, what is the Pythagorean Theorem? All right, everyone else, y'all remember that? A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Cool? Um, so, what does A and B stand for? There's a name for it. What does A and B stand for? What does A and B stand for? Legs. Get it? Stand for. That was a good joke. You like that? That was funnier than my beard joke the other day. Beard. All right, here we go. A and B are legs, so C is a what? Say it. Say it. What is it? What's C? Hypotenuse. All right. So A and B are legs. Now, on a right triangle, where are the legs? Which one of these are the legs? Okay, the two legs make an L for legs, a right angle. So imagine standing with your legs at a right angle. All right, so that's a right triangle. And then a hypotenuse is across from the 90, right? And which side is the longest side? A, B, or C? C, the hypotenuse, okay? So that's all recapping what we know about a right triangle, the sides, what they're called, and the theorem for Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So let's do some math here. We're going to use 3, 4, and the missing side over here in our work column. So let's write 3 squared for a squared, 4 squared for b squared, c squared is missing. Okay, if you didn't already. Let's do some math here. What is 3 squared? 9. What is 4 squared? 16. And that equals C squared. Uh, what is 9 plus 16? 25. Now, is 25 the hypotenuse? Why not? Doesn't it say 25 equals C? Ah, C squared. So if you ever have a squared, and you're trying to get rid of a squared, how do you get rid of a squared? You gotta use a square root. This is how you make a radical with your hand. Okay, square root. Square root of 25. What times what is 25? 5. And by the way, squaring and square rooting, those cancel each other out. So C is 5. So fill that in right here. So the first Pythagorean triple that you are learning today is. 3, 4, 5. That means anytime you see a right triangle with 3 and 4 for the legs, you know the hypotenuse is 5. Okay? Um, if you see a hypotenuse of 5 and a leg of 4, then you know the other leg is 3. Okay? So you can memorize this, and it will save you from having to do work. So all that work we just did, you will be spared if you can just remember 3, 4, 5, make a right triangle. Okay? Um, now, it's not always going to be that way. Like, for example, 4, 5, 6, that's not a triple. 5, 6, 7, that's not a triple. It has to specifically be 3, 4, 5, okay? So that's one of our triples here that we're learning today. And let's go to the next row here. What, uh, what do we got here? So missing leg, B is 12, C is 13. So let's do some math here. So A squared plus... 12 squared equals 13 squared. 
All right, y'all got brains and calculators, so y'all can help me do this. What is 12 squared? 144 equals, oh, don't forget a squared. 13 squared is 169. If I'm solving for a, the 144 has got to go. So yeah, I'm going to subtract 144. Now, a squared equals 25. Once again, I must square root. So whenever we're doing Pythagorean theorem, your last step is always square root to get that side length. Now, that's 5. This time it's a leg instead of the hypotenuse. So here's our other Pythagorean triple. 5, 12, 13. You are permitted, anytime you see two of those three in the triple, uh, you automatically know what the third one is, okay? Now, this is getting back to old school methods where you memorize things, uh, but I'm telling you, if you can just remember some triples, it'll save you some work. Less work by using your brain. Cool? So, 3, 4, 5, we know that one. 5, 12, 13, that's another triple. Let's talk about the next one. 7, B, and 25. So, Pythagorean theorem, 7 squared plus... Make sure this looks like a b and not a 6. b squared equals 25 squared. 7 squared. 49 plus b squared. 25 squared. 625. Again, b is not alone. Let's get rid of the 45. Sorry, 49. Minus 49. 625 minus 49. 576, and my last step is to square root. What is the square root of 576? 24. So 7, 24, 25. That's a Pythagorean triple. Again, if you know two, you can figure out the third. If you memorize the triple, I'm not going to give you a key of these. Okay? If you don't remember this stuff, it's not the end of the world. You just got to show your work to figure it out. So this can help you as a shortcut, right? Okay, last one on this page. 8, 15, and C. Let's do that. 8 squared plus 15 squared equals C squared. What's 8 squared? 64 plus what? 15 squared? 225? Equals C squared. Add them up. What do we get? 289 equals C squared. What's the square root of 289? 17. Okay. So the last Pythagorean triple for this page is 8, 15, 17. Okay. Now, with your eyes closed, can you name all the triples? 3, 4, 5. What's the other one? 5, 12, 13. What's the other one? 7, 24, 25. And 8, 15, 17. Okay. Now, again, I'm not saying you must remember these, memorize them. I'm just saying it would help you. So you either help yourself or you have to show all a lot of work. Okay? Just saying. Now, out of all these numbers, these are like the main Pythagorean triples. That means... A lot of the other ones aren't whole numbers, okay? A lot of the times when you do Pythagorean theorem, you get decimals, or we might reduce a radical, okay? If you flip it over, you'll notice not only are there Pythagorean triples, but there are multiples of Pythagorean triples. So check this out. 3, 4, 5 makes a right triangle. So does 6, 8, 10. Now what do you notice about these numbers? It's doubled. All we did was take the Pythagorean triple of 3, 4, 5, and we did it times 2. So this is, put a little times 2 right here. I wouldn't call this a different triple. It's the same triple, just multiply. Uh, what's the multiplier over here for this third box? Yeah, 3 times 3 gives you 9, so that's a times 3. Uh, so how do I figure out this hypotenuse here? Yeah, 5 times 3, 15. 
And over here, uh, the hypotenuse is 20, so 5 times what? It's 20 times 4. So what are these blanks going to be? 3 times 4? Four? 4 times 4. 12, 16, 20. So again, all these make right triangles, and there's no decimals because they are a multiple of a Pythagorean triple. Okay? So here's what we're going to do today. Uh, at the bottom here, the practice, it tells you literally which triangle on number 1 and 2 which triple they're talking about, and you're going to figure out the missing blank based on figuring out what's the multiplier. So like if this is 5, and then that says 45, you can probably figure out the multiplier and find the missing side, right? Same thing down here, 7, 24, 25, that's 7, that's 21, the multiplier, figure it out, figure out the missing one. Uh, 3 through 8, uh, it's, now it's all free for all. It could be any of the four different triples. So you're going to tell me which triple it is. So right here in this blank area, you're going to put one of these four triples, and then you find the missing side length right there. Okay? So this is important. Uh, you're going to finish this. You'll come over to me, and you're going to check your answers, but you're going to keep this. Okay? So I want you to do it, check it, but keep it. Uh, the main thing I need from you today is if you did not finish yesterday's radical assignment, because it was super rad, uh, you need to make sure you finish it, okay? Don't be bad, be rad. Brad. All right, so, take the pass. Let's get started.